Hello guys, welcome to this new activity. And what we are going to do is configure some basic ERGRP with IPv4. Remember guys, because IP, I mean ER, ERGRP can work with IPv4 and also IPv6. So I also have a lot more activities for IPv6 and IPv4 in the near future. For now, what we're going to do is just configure some basic ERGRP and if you want more labs like this one, you can also visit my website at ccdtt.com. And I'm also going to add this packet tracer activity to the description below. And let's see about this background. Let's read about this activity. So in this activity, you will implement basic ERGRP configurations, including network commands, passive interfaces, and disable automatic summarization. You will then verify your ERGRP configuration using a variety of show commands and testing end-to-end -end connectivity. So let's go ahead to configure ERGRP, which is part one. And we have to enable the ERGRP routing process. So to enable that, we're going to use the AS number one, which is the autonomous system. ERGRP1, so let's go ahead to router 1. Let's start with that configuration. Autonomous system 1. And now, it's asking us how can you tell the difference between subnet addresses and interface address addresses how can I tell how can you tell the difference between subnet addresses and interface addresses well the subnet is this one right here that is the IP address right those are the, the uh, subnets and this is the walker mask and the uh, interface addresses are the uh, gigabit 0 slash 0 Zero interface. Okay. I guess that's that's what I believe they are asking me. And now on each router, configure ERGRP to advertise the specific directly connected subnets. The configuration for R1 is shown below, so we have to add these networks. The first one is 172.16.1.0. The one subnet mass of 255, which is slash 24. And now the next one is going to be slightly different, which is the uh, 172, 16.3.0. And wildcard mask of 255 is not 255, it's a slash um, 30, which is wildcard max of 0, 0, 0, 003. And the next network is going to be a 192, which is a uh, IP address. 192.168.10.4 and walk or mask that three which is a slash 30 and that's going to add two um, interfaces which is um, a five a 192.168.1.5 and 192.168.1.6 okay so we have added those networks now it wants us to um, configure that um, gigabit zero slash zero, which is the LAN, has a passive interface. And passive interface means that it's not going to it's not going to advertise ERGRP updates to that interface. Since that interface is not it's not a, a, route, a router, it's probably a computer or a switch right here. We don't want it to update to send. ERGRP updates to that because we don't need it and that's just traffic that we don't need okay and now the last one is do a no auto summary okay to disable automatic summarization on each router that's good and now what we need to do is we need to do it on the other routers because if you do a show um, route 
so IP GRP neighbors we don't have any neighbors right now because router 2 and router 3 is not is not configured so let's go ahead and configure router 2 the same way we configure router 1 okay enable so right here is router GRP autonomous system of 1 and we're going to need to add this interface right here, which is LAN, and then these two interfaces, these two serial interfaces. So let's go ahead and add these two serial interfaces first. Network 172.16.3.0. And that's going to be a wildcard mask of 3. Okay, and then you can see as soon as we added that network, you can see that we have a neighbor. 172.16.3.1 which is router 1 that was configured before and now we can add that LAN over here and it's going to be at slash 24 and it's going to be at 172.16.2.0 and now let's add the other interface which is um, 192.168.10.0 eight and three which is a slash 30 and now let's do a passive interface and this passive interface is let's take a look at the addressing table for router 2 so we find 172.116.2.1 which is this one right here this network is on interface gigabit zero slash zero And now let's disable automatic summarization. Okay, that's good. Now let's go to router three. Or if you want, we can use to show here your show IP here your IP neighbors, and we can see that we have a neighbor, which is router one. And now let's configure router three, the same way we configure router two and router one. autonomous system of one let's add those network this interface this interface and this interface so they all on the 192.168.10.8.3 and now as soon as we added that we have a network or we have a neighbor 192.168.10.9 which is this router over here router 2 and now let's add um, the other interface which is the 10.4 which we also add after that we're going to receive um, that we have a neighbor mm, that 10 that 182 that 163 that 10 that 4 and we did not create a neighbor right here so there must be something that I misconfigured on router 1 so I'm going to go ahead and take a look at router 1 in a minute let's go ahead and do this one first Let's add the LAN, which is a 1.0 and a 255. And no auto summary. And let's add that passive interface. On this interface, it's probably going to be gigabit zero slash zero as well. And yep, it is right here. And since we, let's end it, show IP. EGRP neighbors, we only have one neighbor, which is router, I believe this is router 2. Let's see why we are not neighbors with router 1. Probably misconfigure something. Let's go to router 1. Okay, and 192, 168 is that 10.4, not that 1.4. So, Let's go ahead and go to router, RGRP, autonomous system one, network, 182.168.1.4. I believe that's what I said. Yep, yeah, that 1.4. And let's say no to delete that network. And let's add that network correctly, which is 192.168.10.4. And after that, we should have a, there we go, we have a neighbor. 
So if we go to router three and issue that command again, now you can see, let's make it bigger. We can see that we have two, two neighbors, router one at 192.168.10.5 and router two, I mean router one is this one and router two is this one. Okay, so that's good. Let's see what else it's gonna it's asking us. So display the ERGRP routing protocols parameters. Why command display the parameters and other information about the current state of any active routing in protocol process configured on the router? So if we I believe we can do a show IP interface brief that's the one that does that we can see the IP address what else is asking us parameters information about the current state of any current state or any active IPv4 routing protocols so that's not it so it is show IP protocols that's the one that does it so the routing protocol that we are running is ERGRP, autonomous system of one. So this is the one, the router ID for this one is 162.16.1.1. And that's the one that does that. Let's see, what's the other question? If I can answer them. On router two, enter the command, you list it on 482A and answer the following question. How many routers are sharing routing information with R2? Let me see. So, IP protocols. How many routers are sharing routing protocols with router 2? There are two, router 1 and router 3. Where is the information located under? Where is it located under? Hmm, that's a good That's a good question. Where is it located under? Is it ERGRP Autonomous Season 01? I believe. If that's not it, please leave a comment below. And what is the maximum hop count? Is there a hop count? Hop count 100. The maximum hop count is 100. So PC1, PC2, and PC3 show should now be able to ping each other. If not, show should you are ERGRP configuration. So let's go ahead and ping. We should have the IP address in here. So from PC1, which is this IP address on PC1, we're going to ping, ping PC2. Let's control C um, for PC1. Let's be in PC2. And there we go. We are able to pin PC2. Let's see if we are able to pin PC3 from PC1. And if that works, it means that we have completed these activity so let's do a ping again and it's gonna take it's gonna time out first because it's doing that a ARP and here it is flipping it again we should get four replies and here you go four replies so guys this is all for this video and if you guys enjoy this packet tracer activity Please hit a like, share, and follow me on Twitter. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.